So now this is question number nine, part C, from the um, International A-Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1, October 2022 paper, 9A and B, I've done in a separate video. And here we've got nine, part C. It says the line L1 is a normal to the curve C at the point P, as shown in figure three. Okay. Given that L has equation Y equals K minus one over eight X. So the equation of this is Y equals K minus one over eight X, uh, where K is a constant. We've got to find the coordinates of P and find the value of K. All right. So now, um, We've got to find the coordinates of P. Now, the, the point P is a point which is a tangent. Uh, sorry, the point P is a point where this line is a normal to the curve at this point. Right. So what is a normal to a curve? Well, a normal to a curve is perpendicular to the tangent of a curve. So the tangent to the curve at point P would be a line that goes like this. Okay. And... This is, this is the line which would be the tangent to the curve. This is the line which is the normal to the curve, right? So the tangent and the normal to a curve, they are related by the fact that their gradients are perpendicular. Okay, they are at right angles to each other, okay? They are, the normal is right angle to the tangent. Okay, so it doesn't look like it very, the way I've drawn it. I think it's because of the, the diagram isn't very, to, isn't, isn't to scale or the way I've copied it, it's gone out of scale, but no problem. Um, you know, just imagine that that's, it doesn't look like it, but that's, a, just imagine that's a right angle here. They're definitely a, a right angle between the normal and the tangent, okay? So the gradient of the normal and the gradient of the tangent are, are, are perpendicular to each other, okay? They're perpendicular to each other. So I know that at P, at P, the gradient of the normal is equal to the gradient of this curve, which is minus 1 over 8. So therefore, the gradient of the tangent at P is equal to the negative reciprocal of this, which is 8. The opposite sign, and you turn it upside down. Or you can say minus 1 over 8 times something should give you 1 times 8. It gives you minus 1, sorry. Right, so that's the gradient of the tangent at, at, at P. So we can say, therefore, at P, the gradient of the curve, which is given by dy dx, is equal to 8. So if I equate the gradient of this curve to 8, all right, then I'll find... That will give me an equation which I can use to find the coordinates of the point P. So I know at, at P, dy dx equals 8. So we've got to first find dy dx. We know that y equals a half x squared minus 10x plus 22. So we've got to find dy dx first. So dy dx is 2 times a half, which is 1. So it's x and minus 10. Okay, so 2 times a half, 1 minus 10 the x is dropped and the the the, the um, constant term it becomes zero so we can see that dy dx equals um, x minus 10 so at p therefore we can say that x minus 10 has to be equal to 8 so x is equal to 8 plus 10 which is 18 okay so the coordinates of p the x coordinate of p is 18 and we can find the y coordinate of p Okay, by using the equation, so when we can say that at P, X equals 18. Therefore, Y equals a half times 18 squared minus 10 times 18 plus 22. Okay, that's... Um, yep. Yeah. That's right. So that's going to give me a half times 18 squared times a half minus 180 plus 22. That gives us 4. So y equals 4. Okay, so we can say that p, the coordinates of p are, are 18 and 4. Okay, so there's part 1. Okay, so that's part 1. And we're going to find the value of k now. So I know for part two, I know that y equals, the, the equation of the line is y equals k minus 1 over 8x. Okay, passes through p. It passes through the point p. This line passes through the point p, which is 18, 4. So this point satisfies that equation. 
So I know that when y is 4 and when x is 18, this equation is satisfied. All right. So that gives me 4 equals my k minus, um, that's going to be um, divide by 2, that'll be 9 over 4. So therefore k is equal to 4 plus 9 over 4 which is um, 16 over 4 plus 9 over 4, which is 25 over 4. So that's k. k is 25 over 4, which is like 6 and a quarter, you can say, 6.25. That would be the value of k. And there's the answer to part C of this question. Now for part D of the question, question number 9. And this is more to do with inequalities. It told us figure 4 is a copy of figure 3. The finite region R, shown shaded in figure 4, is bounded by L, which we know the equation for, and um, the line through M parallel to the y-axis. So this line here, this line, if we continue this line, this line would be x equals 10, because it's a vertical line going through 10 on the x-axis. So this line that goes through M vertically upwards, this line here is the line um, x equals 10. All right, and it's also bounded by C and, okay, so yeah, so it's, it's bounded by these three things. So it's basically this region R, we have to define it using inequalities. And I'll write the answer here because it's right next to what we can see it right away. So I know that the region that we want is where X is greater than or equal to 10. You can put greater than, you can put greater than, equal to, it doesn't really matter. We call it strict and non-strict, no problem, that's fine. So x is greater than or equal to 10 because these are solid lines, so I'll put, I'll put equal to as well. If you didn't put equal to, they accept it as well, it's no problem. right? But I'm putting equal to because they are solid lines here. And um, it's bounded by the region uh, L, by L, C, and the line through M. So, so x is greater than or equal to 10. And you can see the region R is below this line, so it's where 25 over 4 minus 1 over 8x is, um, or you can say y is less than this equation, less than or equal to, because it's a solid line. So that's another equation. So it's where y is below this line, so we put less than or equal to. All right, And also we can see that it's the region is above the curve. The region that R is higher than the curve. Okay, it's, it's in the region above the curve. Okay, so we can say that where y is greater than or equal to a half x squared minus 10x plus 22. So those are the three inequalities that define this region. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it has to be greater than 10. And it has to be where the, 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 the region we want is below this line and it's above the curve. So x is greater than or equal to 10 less than 25 over 4 minus 1 8x and greater than above greater than a half x squared minus 10x plus 22 that region here is what's defined by these three inequalities okay so that's the answer to question number nine part d all right so that's the answer and that concludes this question number nine okay which is quite a long question but i've split it up into two parts so this part was nine part uh, d and or c and d sorry Okay, A and B are in the separate videos which you'll find in the playlist. The playlist for this paper will be found over here, which has all the other questions, including 9 part A and B. Um, other questions from the topic that we just took now, which was to do with differentiation. Okay, and um, differentiation equations of tangents and normals and so that will be in this playlist over here. The, there will also be a playlist here dealing with inequalities and regions, which is what this topic is from. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.